Hey guys, what's up? This is Recreational 420 where we give you the most in-depth reviews as efficiently as possible. And today we're gonna to be checking out these mango lime gummies by Lush. And uh, with that, let's hop right into it. So as you guys know, in the state of Washington, edibles are not allowed to be over 10 milligrams per serving. There is 10 pieces of candy in here. That means that each piece of candy is 10 milligrams uh, a piece. Uh, outside of that, we can talk about the packaging. It does look really cool. I do like how this stuff looks like. This looks like a, you could find it at Costco and you know it wouldn't you know stand out or look weird or anything outside of the fact that this is weed. Um, so that's really, really cool. I do like it when companies take the time to make really nice professional packaging like this and it gives you a whole lot of information. So they are a gluten-free, vegan-friendly, uh, 10 milligram THC per serving, blah, 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 as you guys know. And uh, then it gives you a little bit of something about the company right here on the back. I'm not going to read that, but you're more than welcome to pause the video and check that out for yourself. And the warning is right there. Um, with that, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So this is a sativa. The strain is going to be Cynix Cushington. Uh, and so this is supposed to be not a sativa. This is supposed to be a hybrid. Um, and uh, with that, let's go ahead and pop this open. So there's not a lot to the, you know, a review for edibles. And I actually, I'm curious to know, do you guys enjoy edible reviews or should I kind of just stay away from them because it's really just like check out the packaging and then I tell you the flavor and that's it. Um, I'm, I'm just, that's why I haven't done too many, you know, in the past is just because to me they're kind of basic <laughs> but you know you guys are the viewers so if you guys think differently then feel free to uh <clears throat> let me know so there is 10 of these in here um as and here's what they look like i'm gonna go ahead and open these with scissors so these are really child resistant so like these they're required by law to be as child proof as possible like this thing is really hard to like open you need a lot of strength or something sharp so i'm just going to use these uh na or <laughs> nails <laughs> wow the scissors sorry so here we go this is a gummy we're going to pull it out i'm going to zoom in a little bit see what we can do for you guys so as you guys can see this is just a regular gummy there's not a whole lot to it i'm not going to like do too much it smells really, really good. Uh, it smells like mango and lime. <laughs> so with that, I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera. I'll try this probably in front of the camera when I do the review or the, the second part of this. Uh, but with that, I'll be back again with you guys soon. Hey guys, what's up? So I went ahead and tried those mango lime jellies. I was gonna call them gummies, but it's all about the same. Uh, anyway, as far as the flavor's concerned, they do have kind of this really good fruity, fla or fruity pebble flavor. Um, and I was going to say on the inhale, like you just take the whole thing, but <laughs> you do kind of inhale them. They are that good. But, uh, basically they do have the, I will talk about the texture. So this is a gummy and sometimes gummies can be super tacky and kind of like sticky, hard to chew on. This wasn't like that. This was really enjoyable, whether you chewed on it or you just sucked on it. Um, either way was really good as far as the high is concerned. So as you guys know, the, the, the law states that, uh, these edibles have to be, you know, no more than 10 milligrams a piece. Um, so there was 10 pieces making each of these 10 milligrams. But I will say that we did have to have a good two to three, if not four, to really feel a good, strong, like edible high, so to speak. Um, and the way I'll compare that is I've had edibles from other companies where I've had, you know, one and a half to two uh, 10 milligram candies, and I get a similar effect as I did with the three to four on this one. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, that just means if you're a newbie to cannabis and you want something that isn't going to taste like weed at all, um, but it's still going to give you a little bit of that effect without throwing you so far out of your loop that you're going to be super uncomfortable, this is going to be a great place to start. Uh, and with that, if you guys enjoy what I'm doing, go ahead and hit that sub button if you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you follow the page. This has been Recreational 420 and I'll be back again with you guys soon.